Hello everyone, welcome to the City of Healing. This is Angela, and I hope you all are doing well. Just wanted to come forth. It was a busy day today. Um, and then I have to prepare for a 12-hour day tomorrow with the students. But um, today was a good busy day, and um, I'm about to just get ready to get some rest so I can be ready for tomorrow. But um, um, wash my hair and just get cleaned up and just go to sleep. That's my plan. Anyway, but I decided because I'm going to do a, a wash of my hair um, is to share one um, ingredient that I like to use um, in my hair, and that is castor oil, be it um, castor oil, the cold press, or the Haitian black castor oil or the Jamaican black castor oil. And um, there's a shampoo that I really like to use that I've um, shared before, and that is the Jamaican black castor oil from Shea Moisture. And it makes my hair feel really, really soft. I mean, my hair, I haven't used it yet, you know. My hair is due for a wash because it's um, a little heavy, but my hair is generally very light. I have very, very thin hair and most people think that I have sister locks but you know sister locks are really really thin and they do it with um, a tool but my hair is really um, very very thin and actually since about last year around March I've been kind of free forming believe it or not and uh, some of my hair you can tell and some of my locks I'm letting join together but basically if you can see I don't know if you can really see. It's um, my free forming that's really starting. And like I said, you know, I've been basically not twisting my hair for over a year. And you can't really tell because my hair is just so thin. It's just going to grow and you're not going to be able to tell. But my hair was um, at one point thinning due to it being really, really um um, retwist it pretty often because my hair, you know, had a very neat look. And my hair was a little thicker at one point, but I guess as me not um, twisting it, you know, the new growth came in looking for the hair to um, grab hold to, and there was none because I wasn't retwisting anymore. It was breaking some. And so, um, along with other issues that I were having, you know, as far as um, what was going on with my body, with my uh, thyroid concern, which wasn't really a concern, but, and plus, you know, menopause and all of that, your hair thins with all of that. But I um, basically, I was uh, very much so vegetarian at one point, but now my diet has uh, broadened a little bit to include again some chicken and fish and um, I do you know do my smoothies I do my my chicken broths and the boys basically I eat pretty healthy um, and I include some wild foods in my diet as well but it's important to make sure that you are you have a healthy gut and uh, that's where most disease lies and that's where most of your health and your mental state of being lies within your gut so uh, I'm on a journey to healing my gut and, you know, with my thinning hair, you know, as above, so below. You clear your gut, you clean your gut, you clear your, your head, and your hair grows. Also, making sure that I include lots of water, which I drink plenty of water. I don't have a problem with that. That's really the only thing that I drink. And um, besides tea, with no sugar added, and try to try to um, not consume as much sugar and um, making sure that I exercise, which I do, which I share that video, and um, um, just meditation. And uh, when it gets warmer again, I do a lot of walking, walking and meditating. That's one of my favorite things to do is walking, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, but basically what you consume you know, making sure you include the vitamins that you need it for hair growth, such as um, vitamin A, vitamin E, your minerals, your zinc, your selenium, uh, your collagen, your biotin, um, 
you need probiotics, um, all those things you need for healthy hair growth and good gut health. But most specifically, you know, collagen, you know, to make sure that you heal your gut. And um, I just wanted to just come forth and just share some of my favorite products that has the um, black Jamaican castor oil and um, from Shea Moisture. And I use this kind as well, you know, from her. I don't have much of that left. And with the Jamaican black castor oil, you can put it on your eyebrows. I don't have any problems with my eyebrows. That's one thing I can brag about is my eyebrows. I've never had to, what you call arch or tweezer. My eyebrows are just growing. Just so. But anyway, I don't have problems with that. You can also put it on your eyelashes. That also promotes growth as well. Um, I don't put any oils on my face when I go to sleep because it's like you waddling in um, dirt and oil in your face. So I don't do that at night. I mostly do that during the day. And I really like this Haitian black castor oil. It makes my hair extra, extra soft. This one is the lavender and hibiscus, and it smells so good. It's good to put in your bath as well. You can put it on your hands, your nails. Uh, my nails grow pretty good anyway, but um, putting that on helps reduce, you know, hard, um, reduces hard cuticles. You can put it on your toes. Uh, but mostly, that's what I used this before. You can put it in your bath. And then there's the original kind. Um, and you can add, um, I like to add sometimes patchouli and uh, rosemary. Rosemary is very good for helping to stimulate good hair growth as well. And, um, you know, a lot of people, when they come close to me, you know, they always smell. I smell like a natural store, <laughs> whatever that means, but probably because, you know, I do, sometimes I wet my hair every day, and I just add, you know, things like a little patchouli, uh, uh, frankincense, different things like that, you know, and plus I love perfume, so, you know, you can imagine um, what that's like, or smells like, that's, that's me, but anyway, um, I just wanted to come forth and share just a little bit about, you know, um, castor oil and its benefits. And basically, um, castor oil is made from the castor bean. And um, you want to make sure you get organic kinds. You're going to use this kind because it's a humectant. That means that it draws moisture from the, um, the atmosphere so it don't dry out your hair. But make sure you get organic and cold press. And you can, this has very various re, uh, resources and various things that it can benefit your skin and hair and scalp with. And the Haitian or Jamaican black castor oil is a bean that's roasted and then turned into an ash and extracted and made into an oil. And it has all these many different um, minerals, um, omega-3 fatty acids and um, uh, anti-inflammatory effects. It helps... Uh, promote good, healthy, and healing hair growth and good scalp care. So you're going to get that extra boost of nutrition and benefits for um, healing your, your, um, your scalp so that your hair can grow healthy out. And I do have a lot of um, what they call new growth, but you can't really tell it because, you know, uh, my hair is so thin. And a lot of my locks are um, locking together. So I'm what you call semi-free forming. I don't want big old clumps, you know, anywhere. The Congos, even though those are beautiful. But I just basically want the more thicker um, look other than the, you know, thin look. Even though, you know, this had its way. Um, I want something thicker and healthier looking, you know, for my hair. So... Like I said, I just wanted to come forth briefly just to share that before I end my day and start another busy day. Anyway, thanks for visiting the city. And uh, if you know any more benefits that I didn't share already, which there's more to talk about, um, black castor oil and castor oil in general. But I just wanted to share that a little bit. And I hope you all have a great evening. Take care.